So the stadium costs about 180 million euros. Uh, it has a capacity of 42,105 uh, seats. Uh, it's equipped with uh, cutting edge technologies. We have four giant screens. Each one is 70, 72 meters square uh, large. Uh, we also have a special uh, security HQ here at the stadium. We have a, a police office and also some holding cells uh, if fans cause trouble. Uh, what we have uh, is a um, uh, roof in the color of amber, uh, which is quite unique. We also have a heated pitch and uh, lighting, so everything that's possible, that's needed uh, by the players to, to play a great match here. Also have all the facil facilities they need um, out of the stadium. That means even a jacuzzi in the, in the locker rooms. What kind of atmosphere do you think we'll find here on a match day, particularly when Ireland plays Spain? Well, I expect something great, to be, to be frank. Uh, we, have, uh, we are expecting a lot of supporters from both sides and the teams will do everything they can to show that they're the best. We are talking about the top six in Europe, no weak teams here. So, uh, and also the fans, the fans we are expecting a lot of people from Ireland and from Spain will create something very, very unique uh, to this city, to this tournament and they'll have uh, a great sports festival here. What kind of welcome will Gdansk as a city offer to Irish fans? Well, we've prepared for this uh, event uh, for well quite a time, four years now. Uh, we've built new infrastructure, new roads, new airport terminal, uh, and also this beautiful stadium. We want to do everything so that the fans, once they come to Gdansk, feel at home, that they feel safe, that they have fun. And together with uh, citizens of Gdansk, uh, to have a beer in the fun zone or watch, uh, watch a match and, uh, well, uh, be, be friends. And uh, frankly, we want the fans to come back later to Gdańsk in 2013-14, not to see a match, but to spend a holiday or do business. We know thousands of fans are planning to travel from Ireland. There have been some concerns about accommodation and the cost yes. of accommodation. Can you offer any reassurances that it is going to be affordable to come here. Yes, but not in all venues. Unfortunately, some of the hotel managers do not understand that if they rise the prices too high, they will not get customers. But we have 200,000 lodging places in a two-hour radius, um, two-hour car drive radius from the stadium. So everyone will be able to find something affordable. Uh, if not uh, in the city itself, then perhaps at the outskirts, we have a great public transport that will get you uh, to the stadium in less than half an hour. And how much pride in Gdansk itself and in Poland as a, as a nation that you've been recognized as, as capable of hosting a tournament, a hugely prestigious tournament as this? Well, uh, we've been distinguished. It's a great pride and joy for the people of Poland. Of course, some concerns have been raised that perhaps we will not manage to build everything on time. But as you can see, we did. And we are now only waiting for the Irish and Spanish fans to come here in June.